Hello Potter fans, this is Nelly and welcome to Potter's Nan. As I mentioned at the end of my last video, I've had lots of boxes here that I haven't opened for a considerable time whilst I've been waiting to do Potter's Nan. I have two boxes here which I want to open with you today. Both are from Build-A-Bear, both are Harry Potter related and I'm sure that some of you will have seen them already. Some of you probably have got them already but it's going to be really exciting for me to open them up. One of them has been sitting in a box for 10 months and the other for 8. How I've kept them without opening them I cannot tell you, it's been a struggle. But today I'm going to open them with you. I am really excited about opening these boxes. One will be a Harry Potter in school uniform and one will be a Harry Potter with his Quidditch uniform. I can't now remember which box is which, so I have no idea which box I'm opening first. So, should we give it a go and see what we find? So here we go with box number one. And as I said, I don't know which bear this is going to be, but I'm so excited because it's been such a long time they have been sitting waiting for this moment. Now, as I said, I'm sure some of you have already uh, had these um, bears, got them sitting on your collection shelves already, but I am so excited to see what they're like. I have no idea, as I've never seen one live before, so this is going to be really, really exciting. Okay, so I think we have to just tip this one out in a minute. Okay, okay. like so. So, first of all, we've got some bits of paper. Okay, now I know which one it is, but I won't spoil the surprise. And I have a little certificate to say that my bear is called Harry, obviously, Harry Bear. That he has dark brown fur, brown eyes, and he belongs to Nelly. Okay, so, first of all, the packaging is amazing. Um, if you've not seen one before, it's in an amazing Wizarding World box. It's got um, it's got Hogwarts all the way around the bottom, which is quite exciting. And then I have just found a big picture of Harry on this side as well. So I'm very impressed so far. Really well packaged. I have to say when I ordered it back in September last year, it arrived very, very quickly. It was very prompt service, so I was quite impressed with that. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Now I'm really excited. There is this fluffy, furry, amazing, oh my god, here comes, here comes Harry Bear. Oh my goodness me, he's so gorgeous and soft and fluffy. I've, I've never seen a Build-A-Bear bear before, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. I am so impressed. So he's nicely stuffed. Obviously he's been in a box for 10 months, so he's glad to get out. He's got some little Harry Potter paws, which are silky and shiny, all the things that us Potter collectors like. And on this paw, he's got a, a Hogwarts emblem. So there he is. Say hello to Harry. So I'm just gonna pop him down here a minute and see what we've got in the box for Harry to wear. Well, here's a giveaway. We have a scarf, a nice little scarf. Again, it's got the um, the Hogwarts emblem on here. It's very nicely done, very well presented. It's got the tag on it. I have been advised that you should keep the tags on your um, the things that you buy, especially if you're going to buy unique uh, items like this, and. Keep your labels on because then it's a collectible item. You take them off, it may not be. I hope that made sense. Okay, so we have a, a scarf for young Harry here. What else do we have? Let's sit him on my lap. Oh my goodness me, look at this. It's so, so lovely. So here is his little robe. Again, he's got his little emblem, Hogwarts emblem on there. And if we undo the little bit of Velcro, I'll hold it up to the camera in a minute so you can see it better. He's got his little school uniform underneath, his little tie, his little jumper. 
that is just so so cute i have to say it's beautifully made absolutely really really beautiful i'm so impressed oh look he's got little holes for his ears to go in okay well we'll put that on you in a minute harry what else have we got we have got his trousers can't forget a young gryffindor's trousers and again we've got an embossed emblem i will hold it up to the camera in a minute so that you can see better and lastly in this amazing box a wand there we go you can do a low hamora there we go instantly on his arm look there we go so what i'll do in a minute is i'll put all his clothes on and i'll let you know what he looks like when he's fully dressed so here he is all dressed up in his robes i think he's gorgeous i just want to snuggle him he's so soft i think having never seen a build the bear workshop or build the bear before i have to say i'm so highly impressed and he is getting a 10 out of 10 the thought that's gone into producing this and the way that they've gone about it, the quality is outstanding. So here he is. If I move his little wand down so you can see the, the logo. And then look at his feet. They're so lovely. You can get shoes for them. I couldn't get any when I ordered. They were out of stock. However, having seen him now, I would not want to put shoes on those feet. I would be very proud for him to sit on my shelf and show me that he's got his Hogwarts crest on his on his paws. So this is bear number one. What's going to happen with bear number two? OK, so let's do box number two. Do you know, I don't think it matters how old you are. A teddy bear is something very special. And now I'm going to have two. I'm just going to open this one. And obviously, because I've just got the Hogwarts Harry, I know this is going to be the Quidditch Harry but I've no idea what the um, clothes are going to look like. Um, obviously, I saw them online when I ordered them. Well, hope. Here we go. So, second time. I'm going to tip the box out. <laughs> okay. So, again, packaging. Absolutely brilliant. I've just dropped it, but there's a certificate that says this is Harry Bear 2, who also belongs to Nelly. So, again, same box. I would actually keep these boxes um, and put them on the very top of my shelves because I think they're rather rather beautiful. Um, but I'm sure, you know, if you wanted to, you could cut out Harry, definitely cut out the Hogwarts and use them to make something or craft something with them if you were that way inclined. Okay, he's desperate to come out, so let's have a look. Oh, he's so cute too. Okay. Harry number two. Okay, so basically he is the same bear. He's got the same squidgy paws that I really like. There he is. Again, he's filled really well. I was worried that they'd overfeel him and he'd be rigid, but he's not. He's, he's really soft and, and squidgy. Okay, should we have a look and see what we've got in the box? Ooh, coat hanger, what we got here? Oh, hang on. We have got a little Quidditch outfit. So it's got a hood on the back. And again, we've got the little holes to put his ears in. And it's lined with this really, really lovely satin material. And again, it's so well made. I'm so impressed. So we've got some little goggles for him to wear while he's flying high on his broom stick. Which is in here. This is amazing. There we go. I don't know if this is the Nimbus 2000, but we have a broomstick. An absolute, oh, it's the Firebolt. So it's got his name printed up on the end, which I missed. So fantastic. It's got the little foot stirrups for when Harry sits on the broom. Okay, it's so well made and so clever. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with that. I'll show you closer in a minute when he's dressed. What else have we got? Oh, something very, very important for a Quidditch bear. What can it be? Dun, 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 dun. The golden snitch. You cannot have a Quidditch bear without 
a golden snitch. Oh, uh, there. It's a little sort of leather ball with the, the wings coming out. It's nicely, again, it's nicely made. A lot of labels on it, which some people might want to cut off. But as I said, I, I have heard that if you keep the labels on, it, it will keep the value of the, the item and the, it's more of a collector's piece then. Okay, let's get Harry number two dressed. So here he is, all in his Quidditch uh, uniform with his firebolt ready to go and 50 points to Gryffindor. We've caught the golden snitch. There. Again, I'm really, really impressed with everything. Um, I, I can't find fault with anything at the moment. Um, and I don't think I ever will. I think, again, really well made, very fluffy. The little badges that are on the coat are little emblems that are sewn on. It's not like printed, it's really high quality. And there he is, off to play Quidditch. So here we are with Harry 1 and Harry 2. Now, as far as I understand, at Builder Bear, it doesn't matter which house you're in, they also do Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, both in the school uniforms and in the Quidditch uniforms. So whichever house you are in, whichever house you support, you can get your build of air to match your house. I'm really, really happy with these guys. And uh, if you've got one, I'm sure you are too. Build a bear, top job, well done. So before I finish, I just thought I'd like to show you another one of my shelves that I've created as a set from Harry Potter. This is from the Chamber of Secrets and it's the Herbology Classroom. It's one of the smaller shelves that I've done and obviously again I've had to adapt it to the fact it's in a shelf and not in a very large set room. But I hope you like it and I'll show you now. So here is the Herbology Classroom. It is, as I said, on a very small shelf. But I hope that it represents um, the, the classroom as we know it from the film and from the books. So I'm just gonna zoom in. You'll have to excuse my shaky hands. So on the bench here, we have some um, baby mandrakes, which were made out of some little gardening pots, some tights knotted up, uh, leaves off of a, an old string of uh, flowers that I had, and some felt. And we have a potion. We have some tools and a wand, a herbology book, and okay, think they may belong to Neville. I wonder if he's been neglecting his earmuffs again. So the table is just made out of a box and some uh, wooden sticks. And then the actual surrounds I made from um, cardboard, which I covered in the wooden sticks. I got them from Hobbycraft, I think. I made panels to fit in the shelf because I thought that that would be easier than actually painting the shelf itself. There's little bundles of wood, there's little plants. And then on the side here, as in the herbology classroom, there's all sorts of special plants growing up the side of the walls. And it's meant to be a greenhouse effect classroom and I hope that I've achieved that by very badly painting some mountains in the background in the view. There we go. So I'll just zoom out again. And as I said, it's a very small classroom, but it's my herbology classroom shelf. Thanks for watching. I hope that you liked the little mini herbology classroom. I can just see Professor Sprout in there and Neville Longbottom. Longbottom's been neglecting his earmuffs again. But actually, I know for a fact she's been in there because she's been making some mandrake restorative draft. Hmm. I wonder what this is for. You'll just have to keep watching me because it's going to come up in a video very, very soon. I hope that you also enjoyed the unboxing of Harry 1 and Harry 2. I'm absolutely delighted with them. They're now sat up on my shelves, uh, ready, taking their place in my Harry universe. Look after yourselves, take care. But for now, it's Tata from me, Nelly. Potter's Nan.